Hi, I'm Kat. Today I'm showing you how to make this miniature aquarium setup. Um, I will be using this same setup in the next coming weeks to finish up a complete freshwater aquarium. Um, this is probably the equivalent of a 75 or 85 gallon size uh, aquarium in real life, just in miniature. I am using a Hot Wheels um, car display case that you can purchase on eBay. I will put a link to that supplier at the bottom in my description. And I'm also using a hot knife method to cut out the plastic insert at the top. So I used a hot X-Acto knife that I just uh, put over an open flame or over a gas or electric stove. And I just punctured the, um, the plastic insert with it and continued to cut around it with the hot melted knife until the entire thing came out. Once that's done, you can go on ahead and use your sandpaper and sand all the inside of it to uh, give it a smoother finish or a smooth finish. When the framework is complete, you can test to make sure that still fits on the insert of your um, casing. And if that does so, you can either glue it or you can leave it um, able to detach easily, whichever one you want. I'm going to start building a filter and then the heating element to go on the side as well. So starting with the heating element, um, just a small cylinder of scrap clay of any sort, any color, rounded at one end, straight at the other, and then of course you can just bake it and make a mold. And then because I needed a small thermometer type of thing on the inside, just a red line in the center, black on either side, and then I cut out the space above the red. I used a small piece of wire with black clay on either side. One piece is about this length, is about the size of the thermometer, and the other is just a small little insert. And just put your paper inside, push your wire on top of it, and I have a little bit of clay at the bottom just to keep that wire from sinking too far. And then I filled up the entire cavity, which is only half the mold of the snake that I made earlier, um, with my liquid clay. Once that's done, you can bake it and then pull out the half piece and then fill the other side with liquid clay by itself and just push your half baked, your baked piece on top of it. That way you have a full round shape. I made small um, things to look like holders out of black clay and then a cap. And then of course, you're gonna make sure you glaze the entire thing, that way the, uh, the liquid clay looks a lot more clear than it actually is. And then to start with the filter, an aquarium this size would have a dual filter, so I cut out two trapezoid shapes. Of course, if you want to make something smaller, just one would be fine. And then to give it the little spout where the water spills out or rather the illusion of one, I just traced the top of it and made the front a little bit longer, as you can see there. Then I baked it together so that it had a slight curve and a little more liquid clay and then another piece. And what I'm making now is the spout where the water is going to actually appear to come out. I will be filling this section with resin at the next tutorial. A little piece of clay over it, over it. And then you just want to just make sure everything lines up, blends in, and of course you can go back and sand it later. I made a small hose out of some additional black clay. This is going to hang over in the tank. And then once everything is sanded and smoothed and blended, just going ahead and paint it solid black. And then for the appearance of water, um, it's going to need some sort of plastic coming out of it. So I decided to use um, a little bit of bubble wrap I had hanging around. I cut off the actual bubbles. It's going to still add some additional texture instead of me trying to texture um, falling resin. The resin takes the resin I use takes 24 hours to cure and I don't want to have to keep coming back to it over and over again. So I'm just going to try the bubble wrap in this case and hope that will keep me from having to do that. Then to make the hood, just a small rectangular shape. I 
baked it, um, sanded it, and then I'm adding on additional little uh, sections on the side. These are going to sit over the framework that I was sanding earlier. And while the clay is still moist, just going ahead and puncture holes on either end. And then I also have one in the middle that you don't see, and that got um, holes punctured on both sides where I fed the wire directly through it. Now I'm using a chopped piece of head pin, and this is going to be my hinge. So you put your chopped piece of um, head pin through one side, and then at the bottom of the doors that I'm working on now, you just want to put a small little indent for where that's going to wrap around your head pins. And that way it opens and closes as you see here. functioning doors and then on the other side I painted it white and I'm using a glow powder I again I will put this is from eBay I will put the link to the suppliers I use um, at the bottom in my descriptions but I'm using an aqua color in the front and a darker blue in the back so that's the aqua under light under uh, darkness and then the blue and then of course it's just plain white when it's light outside and then I'm covering the whole thing with some liquid clay. It will still work with the liquid clay covering it. It will also work blended in with the liquid clay and it will also work on sprinkled on top um, and glued in place. It also works as resin as well if you would like to use resin instead of liquid clay. And then finally um, I decided to add some air bubbles in the back of my aquariums. I wanted to do a bubble wall so in order to do a bubble wall I'm going to have to build, put a bubble tube in. So I'm just using one of these clothing tags. Um, you get them a lot of times on clothing. I like to buy these on eBay um, just to have on hand. They're very useful for any miniature projects. And I, again, the link will be in my description box for these. And I cut off a portion of that tube and painted it the same color green. And then put um, some small scrap clay in the back that was also the same green. Push that in, bake it. At a low temperature, it will be fine and then use this particular section as the air tubing. Then once you put everything together, you have an aquarium that looks like it's just ready for water, gravel, decorations, and of course, fish. Those will be coming up soon. I'll be doing a couple of small projects in the meantime though. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.